good morning and welcome back to my channel once again my name is sybil and here we talk about everything beauty everything health care so a lot of you been asking why is february mean self-love to me as you can see i'm black of course and i'm grateful i wouldn't want it any other way because i believe god has a plan for me because i do believe Whatever it is we face in life, whatever it is we face in life, it's part of the plan to get us to where we need to be. And a lot of the time, we're scared of where we are, and we just focus on where we want to be. But for us to get where we want to be, we have to know and embrace where we are. We have to be authentic, because it's like putting, if you want to go, you put you know, like the address to where you want to go in your GPS, you need to give your location where you are right now. So you have to be okay with where you are and you have to be willing to take action towards the, the place you want to be. That's just how life works. And for me, I embrace everyone and everyone around me. It doesn't matter who you are. However, I feel like I got uh, most of the people that bullied me and most of the reason that I got bullied for, it's because of my race, because of my color. I My nose were too big. Um, some of them would be like, oh, you yellow, you not uh, dark enough. And some of them would be like, your hair is bushy. Um, I remember um, every time I would blow dry my hair, people would be like, oh, are you wearing a wig? Is that fake? But when I don't, since I didn't have a perm, it would be more like they had to like touch my scalp to see if I'm not wearing a wig. And when I tell you it had happened to me multiple times in public, and one of the time that it happened to me at that time, it used to happen so current, I did perm my hair and it happened in someone's wedding. Um, I had my sister with me and stuff like that. It was so embarrassing that my sister um, turned it into a joke. She touched her own hair as well and everything. Like the person went out of their way to see. And I was like, no, that's my hair. They're like, really? Like, how can that be your hair? And they like touch it. Um, and then also, let I'm, I like to find ways to do my eyebrow without like not having it because I try it very thin. But it usually looked very awkward for my face shape. So I try to have it clean, but leave it as natural as possible. And I would get bashed for that. Um, people would be, no matter how long I would leave my nails, they'll be like, oh, it's impossible for you to have um, long, natural nails. And I'm like, okay. It's like, it's always something. And the biggest thing for me that made me embrace and turn February into self-love month for me, it's the fact that a cousin of mine went out of their way at that time. My first daughter, who is a teenager now, um, was only two years old. He came out of his way to come to me and said, oh, your daughter is beautiful, but you should use um, soap to lighten her skin. And also, I remember my great uncle from my mom's side, they are biracial, of course, um, migrate from England and all that. So, of course, he he had a problem with my husband, my baby daddy, my best friend, my everything, my pain in the ass, of course. They had a problem with him because he's extremely dark skin and... I don't care how someone feel about it. That's not your husband. That's mine. I love my, my, my husband. And everybody felt like it was disrespectful since it was my grandpa, little brother, and my mom, uncle, my mom loved him dearly, that I did not go to his funeral after he passed. And it doesn't bother me, and I'm not going to apologize for it. And it's the same way also I remember when my daughter... Um, first got got diagnosed with low platelet. They didn't know what was wrong with her. She was there for over six weeks. But at that time, me and my mom, we share a home. And it's like she, he used to visit all the time. 
And what was so sad about it, I will never forget that. He came out of his way to the hospital not to visit a daughter. And my little brother, of course, stood by me and never cared. Um, my little brother, godmother, everybody stood by me and never cared to reach out or did anything. And, you know, like he passed. It was like it was already gone from, from that day. He came out of his way to say to me um, to leave my three-year-old child in the hospital unattended alone and then because he was there that he thought that was rude for us to um leave him in the house alone like you didn't come for me you know you didn't come for me you and i had nothing to to do with each other like i didn't care but what was so funny about it all is the fact that i remember a few days later when i finally felt like a relief since um, my daughter was feeling better they knew what was wrong they started treatment and everything and then I was already there for like weeks um, I will never forget that my best friend who's also Sydney's godmother was like well go home go take a shower and stuff like that she left work to come stayed and then uh, my little brother took me home. I showered and everything. And he he didn't ask how was my daughter doing. He didn't ask how does um, my boyfriend at that time have to travel from um, Miramar back to Tampa every week just so he didn't lose his job. And also he was in college up there. So it was kind of like very harsh for someone to say, well, you young, you can have, um, you can always have another child. And to make it worse, it was where like, well, just make sure that your next child is not with him. Have you like, have you ever paid attention to, to like the type of person he is? Well, he have a full head dread. So of course they look at it as if like he's mean he's horrible like he would end up in prison like he would not like finish school he would not be responsible towards his kids that's like to me i made it like my personal business to embrace who i am to embrace the person that i am and to love myself in order for me to teach my girls to love themselves and not be ashamed of who they are just because of their color and also I don't care really like because my dad's side of the family is also um you know like extremely light skinned and biracial but them I don't really get attacked for that to be honest and really I'm the type of person I focus on whoever is there for me I focus on whoever love me you love me i love you because i do believe the only person that can teach someone how to love you it's how they see you love yourself and i will never stop loving me just because someone i make you feel uncomfortable my confidence will never um I would never lower my standard or not being confident just because I make you uncomfortable. That's something you have to work on yourself because I'm going to take pride in who I am and my skin color will not stop me from being confident, will not stop me from putting my head down. And also this month for me, what I mean by self-love, I'm going to love on my women. I'm going to love on my girls because I feel like we all have it bad as black people, but I feel like black women have it the worst because when you get into like um, a fill of job, it's more like, okay, first of all, you know, we black and second of all, we, it's like, um, now you're a woman, you're not just black you a black woman so it's like you we are in like the end of the list and for me that's not okay so i'm going to love love on my sisters on my queen i'm going to tag every businesses out here for you guys to so show them love and tag all of them as well because guess what there are some amazing business owners out there i don't believe on saying small businesses because it's only small because we only have one person behind it right now because we can't afford to pay other people now but with your help and support with sharing the light on us with supporting with putting your money on us 
we will be the brand we supposed to be. We not going to attach small businesses. No, go support those brands that I'm going to attach there and just love on them, show them every support that you can. So this is self-love mud for me because